Hello getters, welcome once more to the channel. If you are new to the channel, one of our main objectives on the channel is to make sure that as many Africans as possible embark on production in order to speed up the industrialization of Africa. So we've been coming up with videos where we expose to you production machines that you could actually invest in and make millions in Africa and not only make millions in Africa, but as well help Africa as a whole. Recently, we made a video talking about the five top machines in the real estate industry that you could invest in and make millions in Africa and you all loved it so much so today we are coming up with seven most lucrative steel production machines that you could actually invest in and make lots of money for yourself in Africa but before we do that please do well to like this video and at the end of it if you find value in what we are offering you please don't hesitate to share it with your loved ones so just so you know in our previous video we made a giveaway to celebrate our 100,000 subscriber milestone if you're interested in participating please do well to watch the previous video and you are going to know exactly what to do to win the prize and if you don't know our membership is already on the channel you can join our membership through our patreon which is always somewhere in the description box of our videos that said let's get right into the video So the first machine we are going to be talking about here is the barbed wire manufacturing machine. If you don't know what a barbed wire is, it is simply the combination of steel wires that are twisted together to produce sharp tones. And they are mostly used to make fences for residential homes, playgrounds, and some people also use them to fence their plots of land in order to indicate to others that that lot is taken already. And barbed wires are largely used in Africa because a lot of Africans have got land issues. So one once people buy their land and they are not ready to invest in immediately, they mostly make use of barbed wires to protect their land. And a lot of people also use it as a scarecrow for thieves and animals. And also, people love it in Africa because it is a cheap form of fence. And also, it has a low upkeep cost that is, you don't really spend to maintain it. There are actually two main types of barbed wires. We have the razor barbed wire and the ordinary barbed wire. And most Africans often go for the razor barbed wire because it is more more fierce and aggressive so therefore very efficient for keeping animals out of reach and also scares thieves well since the barbed edges are so sharp Another good thing with this business is that the raw material could easily be recycled since they are made of steel or iron. So if you invest in the production of barbed wires in Africa, you're going to be making lots of money because a lot of people prefer it to others. This is simply because the minimum chromium content of 10.5% gives it a superior resistance to corrosion, especially as it is mainly made from iron and carbon. So you just need to figure out which one you are going in for according to your environment's needs or preferences. Are you going in for the austenitic stainless steel or the martensitic one? Or do you prefer the ferritic stainless steel? It all depends on you. Depending on the degree of melting, heat treatment, and work hardening you're going to be doing in your barbed wire production process. Now, the next machine we are going to be talking about is the TMT bar manufacturing machine. TMC simply means thermo-mechanically treated bars. These are reinforcement bars mostly used in construction projects what we commonly call in Africa iron rods. This actually involves a series of rolling, heating, and cooling of various stages of the manufacturing. Remember, this is what is used to build houses. And the main thing that carries a house. So make sure you outstand in the quality of your TMT bars in order for you to make maximum profit. So make sure you control the quality of your raw material. Invest in quality rolling mill that will give a uniform shape to all your bars. Also make sure to install a quality system for quenching and tempering of your product. And also if possible, make sure you provide the four qualities of TMT bars so that you can satisfy a wider range of customers. The next machine we'll be talking here about is the laser cutting machine. This machine is used to cut out patterns accurately. If you didn't know, Africans don't joke with their branding right now. So a lot of people make use of laser cutting burners for their businesses. Most business places right now have gotten their logo or brand name written in bold or largely made from laser cutting. And very few people own these machines in Africa. So if you invest in a steel laser cutting machine, you are going to be making lots of money. Now, most Africans are going huge on real estate. I've said this a couple of times on this channel because this is actually what is trending in Africa right now. And a lot of Africans love these modern windows and doors designed by laser cutting. And also, 
Africans are so in love with fences that everyone has a fence and a gate and most people go now for laser cutting gates. So if you invest in a laser cutting business in Africa, you are sure to make lots and lots of money. The good thing with this machine is that it cuts on ferrous material with ease and is very rapid and also uses less energy. Another advantage with a laser cutting machine is that it actually cuts through the thickest materials that exist. And also it cuts complex shapes with precisions and details. A laser cutting machine generally generates a high energy beam that is then directed to the optical cutting head through high pipes. And for this business, you would obviously need a computer or a CAD, which is simply a computer-aided design. For the laser cutting machine, uses a system called CNC, which is simply the computer numeric control to direct the beam material and also uses a high power laser, which is directed through optics. You would also need to purchase very high quality softwares for your laser business. But if you are limited in capital, you could still start with the free softwares like Laser GRBL, Laser Web, Open Build, and InScip. And generally, laser machines cut materials like metal, which is our main concern here, but laser machines would also cut through materials like leather, acrylic, plywood, foam, and cardboards. And since we are focused here on the metal laser cutting machine, I would advise you go for the Ivo or Yak laser cutting machines. Now the next machine is the laser engraving machine. Yes, this sounds almost similar like the previous machine, but this is actually a different machine, though it is from the same family. The laser engraving machine is actually that machine that is used to engrave letters or numbers on materials using the laser system. It's equally used on steel and other materials like the plastic the glass, the wood, and many more. This machine actually consists of three main parts. The laser, the controller, and the surface. The laser does the drawing while the controller uses the beam to trace patterns and send them to the surface of the machine. Just as a laser cutting machine, you will equally need a computer with a good RAM and a good processor of speed. And you would obviously need a hard drive, an exhaust blower, a filtration unique, a vector cutting grid, air assist compressor, and a rotary attachment. And in Africa right now, people prefer the laser engraving machine over the mechanical engraving machine because of its high precision and detail. Most people, even couples, love to have matchy bracelets bracelets or engrave the names of their kids on their bracelets, their shoes. Some use them to engrave their brands on their products and possessions. The next on our list is the steel pipe making machine. Yes, when we talk of the steel pipe, we are talking of those pipes used for things like balconies, window frames, and it is highly used in the furniture industry. We are therefore talking about steel table tubes, steel chair tubes, and steel bed tubes. Yes, when you go to those beautiful showrooms in town and see those beautiful tables. Most of the steel tables and chairs you see in the showrooms in town are made by the steel pipe making machine. It is also highly used in the construction industry and we know a lot of modern houses in Africa now use steel doors and windows. So if you're embarking on such a production, you're going to be making lots of money in Africa. So you also find them on outdoor sports equipment and this also has to do with the industrial pipe production. And here we are talking about transportation of liquids like milk in production chains, water in houses, that's the plumbing of houses using the steel pipes and sanitary pipes. That is pipes used for the plumbing of houses or public infrastructure. So steel pipes are highly used in Africa right now in all the sectors that I just named and there's no way you are not going to be making money if you invest in this sector. Now the next is the cloth hanger making machine. Yes, this is something that might seem very minute or insignificant but it's actually very lucrative in Africa. And also if you didn't know, most Africans don't have washing machines in their homes. They therefore mostly use the dry cleaners or the laundry shops for the cleaning of their dresses. So if you invest in the buying of this this machine, you are sure going to be making money because you've gotten a ready market for you. And you know dry cleaners use lots of hangers and mostly or always steel hangers. So like I said, people in the laundry business always use hangers on 
every dress they clean. And we know most often one customer brings several dresses to the dry cleaner. So let's say one customer brings maybe five to 10 dresses to a dry cleaner. All of those dresses are going to be delivered with five or 10 hangers. So take that time, the number of customers per day and do the maths to get the amount of hangers dry cleaners use per day. Not to talk of those who use the hangers in their homes. So Africa has actually got a huge market for steel hangers. So here you have seven most lucrative steel production machines to invest in Africa this 2024. So if at this stage you found value in this video, please do well to share it with your loved ones and also drop a comment letting me know what you think of this video. And also if you have a video recommendation that you would love us to produce for you, please don't hesitate to let us know in the comment section. Hope you loved this video. Thanks for watching it and I will see you on my next one.